Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be talking about another powerful feature of Power BI, which is Slicer. So what exactly the Slicer is? So Slicer is uh, a visualization in Power BI that allow you to filter your data on the page as well as on your report. So you can see this visualization in your visualization section in Power BI. So let's click the Slicer button. And the slicer button will create a visualization on your page. Now, in this particular example, I want to filter my data for various region. So I'm going to use region as my slicer. So slicer will help me to slice and dice the data. And basically, if I'm focusing on, let's say, data for London, so I can slice my data only for London. And after that, I can do some analysis of data. I can see some visualization which are related to London only and not for all the four regions. So now you can see like I've got all these regions available in my slicer. If I click one of the region, so both the visualization are now showing me the data which is only relevant to Birmingham. If I select London, so it will show me the data which is only relevant to London. So it is basically filtering the data on my report. So currently in my slicer, I can only select one region at a time. But what if I want to select all the region? So we can do it by going into uh, our formatting tab. And from here, we can click this selection control. And then we can click this select all button. So now we can see select all button, select all option in our slicer. So if you click select all, so it will start showing you all the data all the, for all the region. And what if you want to select one or two uh, regions and you want to do a comparison, let's say between Birmingham and Manchester. So at the moment, like whenever I'm clicking these regions, so it is only selecting the data for one region at a time. So what you need to do is you need to press control button and then you can select another region. So this is how you can select multiple region in, in the slicer. But what if you don't want to press control button and you just want to click individual region names? So that can also be done by selecting this multi-select with control option. So if I turn it off, so in that case, basically I can select multiple regions without any need to press control button. So this is how we can do a comparison between different region, different selection criteria, And we can also do select all. So it will show me the data for all the region if I uncheck. So it is still showing me the data for all the region. So this is the default behavior of slicer. Now, what if you want to create another slicer, which is for date? So let's create another slicer. So I've got the slicer. And this time I want to create the slicer for year. So I can go here. From the date, I can select year. So now you can see like it is showing me a slider for years. So if I'm changing my selection from 2016 to 2017, so it is only showing me the data for two years if I select 2016 to 2018. So both my visualization are now showing me the data for these three years. And you can also select from 2016 to 2021, which is basically the full range of data that I've got in my Power BI data model. So this is all about Slicer. Slicer is a very good visualization that can be used to filter the data on your page or Power BI visualization. Thank you very much. And I hope you like my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.